look at the weather because you probably have questions on that. I am here to answer them as we enjoy this beautiful view over the city of Angels. The sun is coming up and we're already seeing that sunshine. Now don't be fooled. It's chilly out there. Temperatures are in the 50s and 40s. 40s up in the deserts and Big Bear is at 21 degrees. Aye, aye, aye. That's the one spot that's colder this morning compared to everywhere else. This afternoon, though, it's going to feel similar to yesterday. I don't know about you. I had to turn on the AC because it felt a little toasty as I got into my car yesterday. Low 70s up in the deserts. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s in the valleys and inland empire. We could even come close to 80 degrees. Big Bear, cool for you. 51 at the coast. We'll have upper 60s. Easy and peasy. Now headed to the game tonight. The Dodgers taking on the Giants. Last night, they won. Barely, but they won. <laughs> Let's do it again. First pitch is going to be at 710. It's going to be 61. Bring the jackets, the sweaters, because it will be chilly, especially towards the end of the game when the temperatures will be at 58. Go Dodgers. All righty, guys, changes in the coming days. Enjoy the sunshine and the 70s because the temperatures will be tumbling. Tomorrow, 67, and on Friday, 57. So we're going to go from spring back to winter. And it's because a cold storm is going to move into SoCal. Now, today you don't need to worry about the umbrella. The weather around noon looking good for any lunch gatherings, meetings, maybe play dates with the kids. Clouds could linger along the coast, but it's going to stay dry. Overnight through tomorrow morning, we start to see that marine layer come in. And tomorrow, we're socked in with clouds, stretching all the way into the Santa Clarita Valley, into the Inland Empire. We may even have some areas of drizzle tomorrow, some light rain possible during the afternoon. Here we are looking at the weather at 8 p.m. on Thursday. We'll have some snow in the mountains. As we get into Friday, that's when the weather becomes a little more turbulent. We'll have a chance for scattered showers Friday morning, isolated thunderstorms, snow level in the mountains. That's going to be the big thing here. It could drop to about 3,000 feet, so we may see some impacts to our major mountain passes, especially the grapevine late Thursday into Friday. The snow level dropping so low that we may even see some snow in the high deserts. So don't be surprised if that happens. Friday really is going to be our stormy day. It's going to be on and off. It won't be widespread, but the threat is the chance for thunderstorms. Here's a seven day forecast. After today, we see those cold temperatures, that unsettled weather. But then over the weekend, finally, things are looking good. I know the past two weekends have been stormy and washouts. The weather through early next week is showing a weak system that could move into the area on Monday, and that could limit our view for the partial eclipse. The weather for the valleys and in Inland Empire, upper 70s, down to 60s tomorrow, down even more on Friday, temperatures in the 50s, and then we'll level out in the 60s this weekend. In the deserts, all is calm tomorrow, today, but tomorrow you're going to feel the winds, and on Friday you're going to get the rain. And then finally in the mountains, dry today, sunny, but then clouds move in Thursday and Friday, and we'll have that chance for some snow. Stay tuned, be safe.